April 3rd, 2023. I have an open vision and it's of, I know it's in India and it's a cave and coming out of this cave is a man sandal and I see this foot crush this child but it was more shown to me as a a brick like a clay brick so I didn't see this whole smashing of a child's skull and smashes it and then I see like many fingers like I mean thousands of fingers like going up into a woman's womb and it, and these thousands of fingers are like my hands are doing like now thousands of fingers and then it makes this sign we all know what that sign is don't we so then I'm looking and this foot is held before me and it looks like this but it's more bent up and back like a werewolf's foot just like that okay but it's more bent up tall and then the heel is up there like and I seen the tendons in it and like the flesh coming off of it I seen that it was more bent up like this and it jangled in my face and I marveled at it and it had like you know like when you eat a chicken leg like the tendons I mean God was showing me the tendons of it going up to like the foot all the way underneath and what they're doing to um, children in India they're murdering them doing child sacrifices and in hidden caves in India are doing um, lab testing and mixing animals with human beings, making hybrids of half animal, half wolf like this. And I seen the foot. So now they get a judgment because this foot, I mean, he was going over the tendons, over the tendons, and it just hung in the air. And he explained that tendons, but this has more flesh on it. And just imagine all the flesh gone, and all you see is bone, gristle, and tendons outstretched from the bottom all the way around. And he was showing it to me in a side profile. And so their judgment for these people, if they do not repent from what they have done and turn to God and ask for forgiveness, their eternity will be this fate with their foot, with the tendon how God stretched this tendon, the pain that they will feel throughout their whole foot in the, in the afterlife, even in the Great Lake of Fire, that will be their punishment. And while on earth, their punishment is this also. Leprosy will eat your flesh gone with no cure if you do not repent. And then for um, killing the babies like that, all the abortions and the fields. I, I was shown fields of buried fetuses in the sand. For the fields of buried babies, demons are sent to every one of them. Lust demons. And they will be tormented until they repent. Then a woman's voice said this. And this is a message straight to India. That from a woman's voice... A messenger from God, a woman's voice, said this. They like to stick to the windows. Report this to them. I have to report this to the people of India. This woman said they like to stick to the windows. And I had to report that to them. The people of India will understand that. Then I was shown a very large hole. And then out comes it an elephant's trunk trying to get out. Then it turns into a person's hand trying to grip and get out of this hole. And um, 
they, they failed. No matter how hard, they couldn't get out of this hole, no matter how hard. And this is a judgment and a punishment And if they don't repent. The ground will swallow you up to the tip of a trunk of an elephant and earthquakes and mudslides. India, you're being judged with all of these judgments and plagues and curses of demons on you from God for the worship of false, the false god Ganesh, the false god Braham, the false god Vishnu, the false god Shiva, and Sakra, the supreme god. Demons will attack that whole country until you repent and turn back from your ways and your worship of elephants. You will be swallowed in the ground with sinkholes all over up into the tip of an elephant's trunk as judgment from Jesus Christ. Turn back from your ways. Repent. Read the gospel of Jesus Christ. Become saved and find the rightful God.